Hello, everyone. Give you guys a few minutes to pop in here. And in the meantime, I will get you guys going on my iPad so I can see comments. So make sure you grab a snack and make sure you grab your good old drink. I've got my woo woo, my Stampin' Up tumbler, of course, with my pink straw. Why does that seem like I'm, there we go. It seemed like I was so high up in the air. Oh, this light is blinding me. Oh, see, turn the echo down. Hi, Mom. Okay, there, the iPad is on. I have a couple of announcements to go through with you guys, so at least I see that I'm live and we are doing okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get into a couple things. Hi, Jamie. Jamie, your card went out in the mail. Did you get it yet? I it's probably a little early if you, well, I'm trying to think, when did I mail it? Was it Tuesday? Tuesday and Wednesday, so yeah, of last week. Not sure if you probably have gotten it yet. So I'm Danny Garola here in Tucson, Arizona. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the USA. My blog, so you guys can find all the information about this video, it takes me, eh, normally I try to have it up and going by this evening, but that's not always the way it works. So I normally say it will definitely be up by tomorrow afternoon-ish. Um, that is Stampin' the Pink Barn blogspot.com so that's where I put all the recipes for the cards that I make today um, I put the links to all the products down below and I attach this video so then you have instructions right there at your you know need to find out how this all goes um, again the card recipes are on there with the dimensions on how to put everything together. If you're watching this from YouTube, hit that subscribe button for me. That helps me a lot for getting more views and getting my videos seen by more people. Also, once we hit 50 subscribers, we're gonna have an excellent giveaway. Also, I have a couple things I need to go over with you guys. So you know that I keep talking about the second celebrations that we have coming up again. So this is the first time Stampin' Up! has done this. They normally only have one celebration. It runs for about three months, give or take a few days in there. Um, and this year, and who knows why, maybe it's because we're in all frazzled because of this virus thing going on. Um, we are having another one. So that's why it was so short the first time. We're gonna have another one. It starts in July and it ends the end of August. You're really breaking up for me. It jumps and cuts things out. Huh, I'm watching myself on my iPad and it doesn't seem to be jumping around much. Let me maybe turn my computer off because I don't really need everything going. So let me shut my computer down so that's not one thing going. I know you don't have the greatest of internet up there. Um, okay, it's better now? All right, I just turned my computer off, so let me move that. Okay, so the computer shut off, that's down. Um, so, other thing, if you guys go over to the blog, hit in off to the right hand column, there's like a little scroll down bar over there. Um, you'll see like a shop button. You'll see 
uh, the paper pumpkin button on there and we'll be going over the new paper pumpkin because you have two days to get in on the here's to you paper pumpkin. Look, I remember the name because <laughs> I had to print off a flyer so I could remember this month's box name. Okay, if, if, if so if you're on that right hand column, go down and put in your email address and say follow me by email. That way, every time I put a new blog post up, like when I go to put this one up, it will email it to you and then you'll be able to see everything that comes through. Um, also, we're going to do the winner winner chicken dinner for last week's video, which was number 29. I can't believe today we're in video 30. What? What the what? Like, I've already done 30 videos. That's just crazy. That seems, whew, where did I, where did the time go? So let's announce the, oh, well, when I flip the camera around, I'll do it so then you can see the three cards that we did last. Yeah, three cards last week that we did. So the winner can pick the card that they want and let me know. Um, again, I said the celebration that's coming up in July. So I don't want to say to save your list till then because we do have our retiring list, which is going to be from the catalog that I hope you guys all have because it is retiring. Um, if not, just wait till the new catalog. Uh, our retiring list will be coming out the 24th of this month of March. So that means anything that they're not going to be carrying over into the next catalog will be going on a retiring list. I can't tell you exactly what the discount is going to be on each retired product because it just varies on how much they have in stock on how much they're going to put the discount at. But most of the sets and bundles and things that are going to be retiring sometimes have a discount on them. But I can't disclose any of that because I don't know what it is. And I won't know until you know on March 25th. And I will be posting that on Facebook and the blog. And there will be a button that says check out the retiring list. And then you can go through. I believe, I know somebody normally posts in our Facebook groups uh, the list, the retiring list. And then it will have the page number next to it. So then you can go through and mark in your catalogs as to what is going to be retiring because you're going to want to get those retiring items because when they're gone, they're gone. It, sometimes, and we don't know what they're going to be, sometimes years down the road, kind of like with the whole chicken set, that was out in 2017 and they're bringing it back now. And that's, that's not going to be around forever also. I don't know when the date was on the chicken thing. Um, I'll have to figure that. I'll have to find the flyer for that and let you know because I didn't even pull it out. Um, but the other thing you need to know that those in colors from 2019 to 2021, you want to grab those now because as soon as the retiring list comes out, those are probably going to be first thing to go. So make sure you grab those stamp pads, which is the, um, Rococo Rose, uh, pretty peacock, What's the other one down there? Seaside Spray, Terracotta Tile. And I know I'm missing one. Hold on. Let me see which one I'm missing. Because I just bought all the reinkers. Um, Terracotta Tile, Seaside Spray, Pretty Peacock, Rococo Rose, and... Oh, my boy came in. He wants to say hi to everybody. That's what he told me. He was going to come in. There's the boy. What's There's up, the junior everybody? ROTC. How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> Grandma's on there. You say hi to Grandma. Hi, my Grandma. And I think Jamie's on there. What's up, Jamie? So there's the boy. He got a haircut. Get in there so they can see your, your little buzz oh, for no. your... Too short. Your military stuff. No, looking look good, like looking dapper. Or no, what do they call it now? He's on fire. That's what he always says about everything. Fire. Okay, so, all right, what do you need? I was just going to come inside. Oh, that's the other color. But we don't have a stamp pad for it, so it's not. Oh, Jamie said stop growing, boy. 
purple posy. Yeah, he stand, he towers over me. Well, you've got boys. You know how that is. But you're taller than I am. But he just, he towers over me. It's craziness. So pretty much the one thing you can get in the purple posy is we have the paper and we have the um, Stampin' Blends in those. But the other four colors that I mentioned all come in stamp pads and have the ink refills. You're going to want to get those now because um, otherwise when they're gone, they're gone. And you don't want to be sitting there waiting till the last minute and right when that um, everybody throws the retiring list out. Those are going to be one of those things that don't stick around long. But do grab the reinkers for those because your pads are not going to be any good if you don't have reinkers for them. Yeah, we were driving home today from, he went to see the orthodontist today. Um, we're going to start his bracer, braces and all that kind of stuff. And he needs to have the, uh, what are they called? Springs put on there because he's got that, it's called an underbite. Well, that was weird. It looked like there was somebody walking around outside. He's got an underbite, a really bad underbite. Um, and they have to now have these springs that will pull his top jaw up over his bottom teeth to uh, make his mouth normal. Otherwise, which I kick myself, we should have done this a long time ago. Um, they said it's going to be harder to correct now because he is older. It would have been wiser to do this probably like eight, nine years old, but stuff happens. I didn't get it done then. We're doing it now. So we're going to hope that we get enough uh, um, pre prevention or enough correction, I guess you would call it, that we can kind of save him from having to go through a pretty extensive surgery in the future if it doesn't correct it enough. Also, now that that just threw me for a curveball, he, we were driving home though and he goes, Mom, he goes, can I come say hi? And I go, absolutely, come say hi. You're not going to bother me any and I don't think you're going to bother, bother anybody else hit that uh there's a little button down there that's got some thumbs up it's got a um heart smash a couple of those for me anybody who pops in that helps with the analytics of facebook to get the video being seen by others also like comment share which you guys have already commented there and that gets you entered in the winner winner chicken dinner all right so let's talk about this you've got two days to get in on the Here's To You uh, Paper Pumpkin. This is the one that comes with these four, oh, where am I at? The four free stencils and that sponge. That's not a normal thing you get inside of your Paper Pumpkin. So those are freebies this month. Um, it says, contains enough supplies to create eight cards and coordinating envelopes, includes four free stencils and stamping sponge. Embrace a new exciting technique with this set of reusable stencils that can be stamped for any season. Comes in a cute collectible box. So yeah, see, this is not our normal red paper pumpkin box that, I don't know if you can see, oh no, you can't see them right now, but hold on, let me turn you up there. See all those red boxes up there? Like those, oh, those Christmas ones are all like collective boxes, but then as you go, they normally all come in red. I know, I've got a stack of them up there. Um, but this time it's going to be a collectible box where it's got those trees. The, it's yellow with the trees. These are great little gift giving boxes. I will say that. You can um, cover these in your designer series paper. You don't have to cover it at all. Just give it as a gift. It, the great little boxes. Um, so yeah, you have until March 10th to get on this. You can go to my Facebook page. I've got the paper pumpkin. Scroll down a little bit. You'll see this picture. There's um, a couple different ways that you can subscribe to these boxes. You can either do a prepaid box um, where you can buy, I think it's three, six, nine, or 12 month increments. Not sure about that nine month one in there. Um, it could just be three, six, and 12. But anyways, um, and the greatest time to buy those prepaid subscriptions is during celebrations. So if you're thinking about buying this, the uh, prepaid you might want to wait until then. You can go ahead and get these as a monthly thing and then cancel that when you're going to do your prepaid and then you'll already have your year paid for 
and you're good to go or your three months or however many however long you want to do it and then you get a celebrations free boot in there with that so we will be doing that's why i had my calendar over or that's why i had my computer out is we are going to be doing this box live the put together of this box on whatever the last oh look at oh i do have a calendar right here Eek. okay that is going to be on february or march 25th will be our march paper pumpkin uh live putting this and a couple of alternatives together and i will show you how these sponges can be, are these sponges, these stencils can be used for everyday projects, not just what we're using in this box. Okay, so that's that. So get subscribed for that. Also on the blog, on that right hand column, when you guys go to put in your email, there's a um, paper pumpkin little red picture. If you click that, it'll take you directly to the monthly uh, subscription sign in for or, uh, purchasing that. Also, we have this going right now, the butterfly bouquet. It's beautiful. I'm going to show you guys here in a few minutes. I got mine. But you know what? I did. Ding, ding, ding. I ordered. I, I wanted this paper. I was not really interested in this paper, to be perfectly honest with you. I didn't like the wood grain. But you know what I did? I ordered the wrong paper. I didn't order this. I ordered this but I have it okay I've already used it I played with it a little bit the other day um so I'm going to show you what I, with the card that I created with this when I spin you around I'll show you guys the stamp set and uh the card that I created and the dies because holy guacamole I didn't realize you get so many dies with this I I can like see here but when you actually get them you're like holy smokes artichokes oh, I, there was a lot of dies Okay, so what else did I need to say? Oh, the new catalog goes live May 4th. So if you need the new catalog, or not necessarily need because we don't need it, but we just want it. If you want the new catalog, I need you to let me know so I can get you in on my mailing list. So Stampin' Up! will send you your catalogs right from them because otherwise it's going to take too long for you to get it because once I buy a box of catalogs, they're going to come to me. Then I have to in turn package them up and then mail them back out to you. This way, if you let me know you want the new catalogs, which it's free, I mean, you get the catalogs free, I'm paying for it, but it's a lot better of a deal for me to pay for it through Stampin' Up than it is for me to have to pay for it to get come here then me have to pay again to get it shipped out. So if you want them, let me know. They will come straight from Stampin' Up to your mailbox. All right, let's get you guys flipped around. Mm -hmm. All right, that's all I needed to talk about now. So let's get you, let me get my notes and stuff out of the way here. We have, what did I, what was I gonna do today? Am I doing, yeah, I'm doing four cards today. So, I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible, but without a lot of mistakes. So, um, get your drinks, get your snacks, and let's get crafting. All right, hold your eyes so you don't get sick. Let me flip you around so you're not staring at my light. All right, and you know what? I got to cover that. That's no, That host code is no longer valid. I will be posting the new host code. I, um... Let me see. Are you guys in frame? Yep. Looks like you guys are in frame. All right. Don't look at this host code. I will need to just cover that up because that host code is no longer in play. Are we frozen? Are we working? Oh, there we go. Looked like I was frozen there for a minute. All right. You guys know... Um, the drill okay i'm just gonna set that for right now because actually you know what we have a posty stick it or post-it note i'm gonna lay it over the top of that that host code is no longer current i've already closed that host code out i haven't printed off a new one of these like i said i had my son at the dentist today so by the time i got home i wasn't able to print off a new thing and i kind of forgot about it anyways all right let me show you guys the butterflies 
since where did I put my card I, okay there's the card all right here is that butterfly brilliance this is the stamp set and the bundle don't forget that if you buy the bundle which is the stamp set and the dies you get a 10% discount on that so don't buy them separately because it would be um, $61 if you were to buy these individually but if you buy them together it's $54 or $54.75 so here is the stamps that's the stamps I've already mounted them to my cling mount and I've been seeing some really cool things people are doing these little punch out pieces here I kept them because they're putting these together on a block and they look like a giraffe, jungle, safari kind of background that people have been stamping and using those. So you're, nothing's going to waste really on this stamp. All right, here's all these dies. So as you can see, that was one big stamp that you just saw me pull off there. Well, this is all one die that cuts out each thing. So once you stamp this down, this whole stamp, so you're going to need one of those great big blocks to mount this on stamp it all down at once so then you're gonna have all your stamps on one paper then you're gonna die cut all of them well obviously that's backwards then this lines up perfect with each one of those after they're stamped and you can stamp them look here's all of them right here I have all these butterflies so I stamped them in Rococo Rose because of this card that I made and see and I didn't even use these little colored ones I then came in with the rest of the dies that came with it and I die cut this one here this big one and that's where I got this Rococo Rose I just did it in that color paper and there it is in white because I was debating whether or not I wanted to do white on this this paper is retired it was part of our uh, celebrations that was that also ombre that you guys have seen me use but I just, I loved the color and I'm really kind of addicted to that Rococo Rose. And I wanted to use it before it's gone or retired. So there's that card. And then I sprayed it with some of that shimmer mist. I'm not sure if you guys can see that shine on there, but it's gorgeous. All right, there's that card. And that's those. Those are so intricate. Look at that. That cut all those little detailed pieces out. Then when you stamp them, look how intricate the stamps actually are to cut those out. Then you have some of those, all right, let's get all this out of the way. Then you have some of these smaller ones in here. These look like a brick that st stamp out, so it looks like they're kind of, and you know, Pinterest will be your best friend. I'm just saying, because Pinterest has some amazing, if you're looking at them going, okay, I have, it's gorgeous, I love it, but I would have no idea how to use it. Pinterest that mother you will find a million different cards that people have already made using this set and it just went live but this lasts until May 3rd you can get that because this is because this is the early bird special then it's gonna go inside of that new catalog that re releases May 4th okay all right so I showed you that I showed you that card what else did I say I was gonna show you once I flipped you guys around Oh, the winner, winner, chicken dinner. We got to do that. The winner, winner is Patty Rutledge. I think is how you say your last name. Uh, who knows? She'll normally pop in here. I haven't seen her yet. But there's that one that we made. That was the inside. There's this one with that. That's that uh, purple posy that is also going to be leaving us. That's the one that doesn't have the stamp pad or the ink that matches it, but it does have the... Doo -doo -doo. Is that it? Purple Posey? No, that's Light Highland Heather. I think I don't have the pens because I didn't have the ink. So, anyways, I used Highland Heather, but this is that Purple Posey paper, and then we did this with the Versamark. So there's that card, and that one opens like this. And then there was that... So we had, remember how we did it? We did it, the um, beginners, the casual, 
and then the Avid. That was our three different ways of stamping. I'm also doing that again today to just show you how you can buy a set and then make it, you know, for be beginners can use it. And then you can just get, you know, more and more elaborate with that set. Okay. So those are your three, Miss Patty, for you to choose and let me know which one you want. Okay, put those up there. All right, let's get started with our cards. So we are using, it's called the World of Good. Remember last week I told you we're going to be making some more manly cards? This doesn't necessarily have to be manly, but I think it's definitely those darker colors, the greens, the blues, the browns. Um, you got your cinnamon cider and all the paper here. You know, it looks just more of those masculine colors. So great for graduation, great for um, making scrapbooks with. There is also a coordinating, um, I want to show you this. It's called the Memories and More. It's also included, if you were to buy this whole suite, which the whole suite means that it comes with the stamp set, the dies, the designer series paper, so the DSP over here, the old world embossing 3D folder, Okay, that's that one. So you, it makes your paper look like it's old and crinkly like this right here. It also comes with your foil sheets, which is the, uh, it's a brass color. You'll see me all use those tonight. Your uh, World of Good Memories and More card pack. So this is what the card pack is. It's called the card pack and more. It's back on page 155 if you want to see more details about it. But here is it these are awesome for uh scrapbooking there's little word sentiments in there they fit amazingly in these cards which i ordered those and i will be showing you those they should be here it said by thursday so next week i should be able to show you you get you get the three by fours and then you get the four by six size you've got some foil sheets in here and then you've get, you get three sheets, I think it's three sheets of stickers. So you get those with the worlds and the compass. You get those that are foily. There's a, another couple of those foil sheets. There's another sheet of stickers. So maybe it's just three sheets of stickers. And then the rest is that foily. And then the back side. Don't forget, the back sides of these are also... Not all of them. These ones I don't think, oh, I think you have a few, but you've got those, you know, the foil sheets and the, the stickers are not gonna be double-sided. So you've got those and then these as well are double-sided. So you've got some like sentiment uh, uh, cards that you can throw down inside of these. So I'll go over those more when I have the the sheets and the scrapbook uh album I'll go over those and show you how those work but they work great with our these are the note card note card and envelopes they're smaller cards that fit in these smaller envelopes and those three by fours and cutting down those uh, four by sixes fit amazing on those also all right, and then it also comes with the antique corner sliders. So it's these little pieces here. They're little um, metal pieces that your ribbon would slide across right there. If you can see it, it looks like a little buckle. And then your little antique corners. Let me see if they have a card. Oh, there's that one right there. Actually has one up in the corner. So that one, those are, it comes with those. And then it also comes with this. It's called faux suede trim. So you get a whole roll of that as well in this whole suite here. Okay, so let's get into this. We're going to be using that set because we're going to make some manly cards. Okay, our first card is right here. So we're using Cinnamon Cider as our card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter are going to be scoring at four and a quarter. Okay, so there's our score line. So this is more for our beginner's card. Let me grab 
grab the bone folder. Let's get this thing out of the way. Okay, then our next thing we need to do to this is since we know this is four and a quarter because we just scored it on that line. Now we're going to take this and we're going to line this piece, this corner, which so when you're holding the card, you want your front flap, we're going to cut. So take your back flap, throw it all the way through your trimmer. Am I in, in frame here? You're going to line this up on the two and one eighth since that is half of our front panel being four and a quarter and we're going to cut that piece off okay save that piece we're not gonna be using it on this card but hey that's a pretty big decent piece to be scraps I don't know I'm weird I'm a paper hoarder yep that's me okay then we took a piece of our designer series paper so this is, I'm not going to take this all out and stuff, but this is that designer series paper. Look how beautiful this it is. It's double sided. You've got, you know, lots of paper in there with that beautiful foiling. So you're going to see me use a couple different pieces of this today. So you'll get to see quite a bit of it. <coughs> this piece is cut at four by five and a quarter. Okay, this is our inside piece. We're going to be, and like I said, that's double-sided. So if you wanted to lay that side down, you could. I'm not going to because we're going to want to stamp, stamp a sentiment on there. And since it blends so nicely and it's not so overbearing of a pattern, you can stamp right on this. All right, so let's get... And this piece of designer series paper is also cinnamon cider, which is what our card base colors. Don't know if I said that or not, but I'm saying it again. Okay. Um, this one has more of those astrological uh, prints on it. They're very faint, but you can still see them. Some of the other ones have like a map on them because it's very worldly. This set is. Let me get my hair up. I'm starting to. Have a hot flash. Ooh. Okay, there we go, that's better. All right, then we're going to need, ah, oh, where did I put my other piece? Did I cut that down in there? Or did I just not cut it? No, I probably didn't cut it. All right, in our little piece right here, we need one and seven eighths by five and a quarter, five and one fourth, one quarter. Okay, and I'm gonna use this here. I don't know if I cut that and shoved it back in there, I don't know. All right, so we're gonna cut this at one and seven eighths. So your eighths are the, not the shortest, but because those are sixteenths, but they're the next one over. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's the second mark before the two that is going to be our one and seven eighths. And I follow it all the way down so I make sure I have my paper straight. Cut that. And what did I say? By five and one quarter. So five and one quarter. All right, that piece is gonna get adhered right there. And look at that, that old olive on the back side of that paper. So we're going to leave an eighth of an inch all the way around. So we've cut it a quarter of an inch smaller. So I kind of line it up with my paper that I see going across here. So I know that it's straight with that. We're going to need a piece of basic black. And this is three and one quarter by four and one quarter. And then a piece of whisper or basic white. We're done with whisper white, but it's hard for me to get that out of my mind. This one is, again, a quarter of an inch smaller than that. So this is three by four. Okay, we are gonna use a tool that I don't use very often and it gets very neglected and I should use it more often. But this is our Stamparatus. It comes with two of these plates, but this is to stamp. 
So say you want to stamp something in a very, very crisp, nice, dark color, but you always know that when you stamp that down, that it never comes out nice and crisp. Well, this Stamparatus will make sure you can always stamp all, the same image over and over and over again without it ever getting moved. All right, so we're gonna take this piece, which is the three by four, and we're gonna lay it here in the corner of our bottom of our mat here, because I know that's where I've already lined this up with this because I've already made this card once of course I have to make it to know that it's gonna look good for you guys and then I'm gonna come in with my early espresso and we're gonna need cinnamon cider and this stamp set by the way is from the happiest of birthdays so the main stamp set that I'm gonna be using today is the beautiful world that or the uh, the world is good bundle that's going to be what I'm, my main focus is. But for sentiments, I'm going to be using a couple of different um, stamp sets, which I will show you and tell you what they are, you know, so you know. So we're using Wishing You the Happiest of Birthdays from this set. Okay, I'm going to turn this this way, even though... Okay, I'm going to take my second stamp pad and just kind of lay that underneath there for a cushion because I know that I'm coming in with my early espresso first. Ooh, that was a horrid noise. Sorry. I have my magnet just stuck to the corner of this so this paper doesn't move on me. Okay, then I'm just going to take my ink pad and ink up that stamp nicely. And see, I missed the whole top of that stamp. Good thing I looked again, right? Okay. There we go, we know that it's good. Okay, now I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to close it. Boom. Okay, give it a little bit of push, let it sit there a minute and soak into that paper and grab that beautiful, rich, early espresso. Then I need to grab my, my chamois. I hope this is wet enough, I just, okay, that is. Okay, my chamois. I know you guys have seen me use the brush uh, scrubber that I have, but it won't work with me keeping this on here. Okay, lift that up. See how beautiful that comes out? Now, if I wanted that just a hair darker, which I'm good with it the way it is, I could now re-ink this stamp. Can you see it? I can re-ink this and then push it over one more time to make that even more of a crisp stamp set or uh color okay I'm just wiping this off so I have you know that this early espresso I can't help it it gets on me no matter what again it has those red tones in it and remember how I told you anything that has red in it gets all over me I just I, I can't I've tried I can't do anything about it all right so now I'm gonna put my early espresso underneath here this is not something that has to happen. It's just my preference when I'm stamping this. So, but before I do that, I'm going to prop that up. I am just going to move this a smidge. Like, you probably won't even know that I've really moved this. So, I'm just going to take it like a hair off of that edge. I'm going to do a just a tiny little bit of shadowing on this so now wait and watch what is going to happen here okay that's going to sit there so I can stamp this up this is the my cider or my cinnamon cider okay I can see that that is all nice and gooey okay now watch what's gonna happen make sure I get that out of the way enough okay and you won't even notice until I pick it up that it has been shadowed. And it's just a faint shadow, just enough to kind of, sh you'll see. Look at that. Look at that little bit of shadow on that. Let me clean this off really quick before I get my hands in this also, because Lord only knows. Okay, so this is considered our beginner's card because that didn't really take 
much of anything to do that. So let's get this out of here. I'm going to just leave that stamp on there right now because I'm going to clean it really good. I'm going to put the stamp apparatus away because I don't need that any longer. Now look at that. Look how that has a little bit of that lighter color shadowing. I just think it adds so much detail to that stamp set. I'm going to let that dry for a minute because I know darn well if I try to rub my fingers on that and place that down, I'm going to make a hot mess and smear the heck out of that because I know me. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment in the inside of here. And I think I'm going to use the happy birthday here. Ah, stuck to my fingers. So wishing you the happiest birthday. Oh, actually, no, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use it's your day. Where is, yep, that's right. I'm going to use It's Your Day because it kind of looks more like that writing. And I'm going to use the Early Espresso. Oh, that noise. Make sure that's good and juicy. Now I'm going to grab the that scrubbing, stamp and scrub. And knowing that that's going to be kind of the center of my card, I can put this right down here and know that it's going to get covered. Now, if this does not come out the way I want it to, I cannot restamp this. So if I knew that this was not going to come out as crisp and as nice as I wanted it, I would have wanted to make sure I put this in my stamp apparatus, put my piece of paper down, fold it over on itself, picked it back up, re-inked this stamp, and then shut it again to make sure I had a dark, crisp, but that it worked for me. Woo. Okay, wipe my brow because <laughs> I was afraid I just done messed it up. All right, I'm going to clean this off so I don't stick any papers in it because we know me. done with that so I'm gonna put that away okay I think we're done with this set so I'm gonna set it up off out of the side off to the side and let's get this down So this card doesn't require any kind of lift, so I don't need any dimensionals on this. I just know that when I go to place this down, I'm only using, so see, this is where I was saying, since this is the outside of my card, I knew it was going to cover that sentiment, so I knew I was okay placing that there. All right, the other cool thing with this paper is it is lined, so you have a perfect grid to know that you're lining this up in the center. So I'm only going to glue this half. So I got to make sure when I flip it over, I know that this half's half is only getting glue. Because I don't want to glue this whole thing down because I want this to be able to open. So I'm going to put it just on the outside of this silver or gold line because I want to be able to see as much of that gold as possible. Then I'm going to come over here and then I'm going to press because I don't want to touch that inked image at all. Okay, that's our first card. Beautiful, right? And then I would just take some, an envelope, which I will post pictures of this because I don't want to waste the time on making envelopes. I will take either this DSP or this DSP. Well, I mean, it's from the same DSP, but, and put it along here and then you will have a matching envelope. Okay. So you'll be able to see the pictures of the matching envelopes with the cards when um, I put them on the blog. All right, so there's the other one that I made. But oh, I forgot. Oh, 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 wait. Wait, there's more. Okay, I'm glad I grabbed that card. 
Okay, we need just a couple of blings. I know these are men's cards, but we're not getting like shiny and sparkly. No, no, we're just gonna add a little bit of, because this is black and this is black, we wanna add a little bit of this to it. So we're gonna put one right there and put another one right here and then a big one up here. So Corbin is so jazzed. The doctor today, it was kind of funny. The, the doctor said, you know, I've never seen a kid be so excited about getting braces. And I said, what? but then like he explained to the doctor, he goes, yes, but I've been picked on because of this lisp that I have because my bottom jaw, and it does, it makes him have quite a crazy lisp. So there you go. This one's just a hair lighter. I didn't make it as dark and I moved it a little bit further, but I thought it was just a little bit too much of a shadow that I like this much better. This looks much crisper, cleaner. So there we go. This will be your card. I know because I've stamped on the inside. This one, I did not stamp on the inside. So you guys will be having that one as a choice if you're the winner. Okay, let's get to the second card. Okay, the second card, we're going to be using linen thread and our card base is basic black. Let me get out my, okay, let me get this directions over there. Keep these together. Pull out all my pieces. I made sure I cut all my pieces before we did this because I knew making four cards is going to be more of a time a longer time with you guys and that you don't have to sit here and watch me cut every piece out because you know you've seen me use my baby boss you've seen me use the big boss that you know it's kind of redundant to keep using those on screen but there are going to be a couple things like the the globes and that kind of stuff that i will show you but just not everything all right so this is 11 by four and a quarter we're gonna come in and score it at five and a half. Okay, so our card's gonna be like a a uh, blah, 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 portrait style, but going this way. Then we need to line this arm up and cut this piece at, you're gonna line up your end at seven. Make sure you've already got your score line there. We're gonna line this up at seven and then cut that piece off, okay? Do not get rid of this piece, we need it. All right, so that's how that's going to look. And I have to show you, my mom made this card for me, but I'm saving it for Father's Day. I've just taken her, um, her idea and her card and I've made it for a manly card, but I did it for a birthday because I wanted to save the set that she used for Father's Day cards. Um, okay, so now we did that. Okay, so now you're gonna use this piece and we're gonna cut it at, it's already four and a quarter, so we just need to cut a one and a half piece off. Is that right? Mm, no. Is that one and a half? Okay, that's one and a half right there. Is that one and a half? It is, it just looks way bigger than that on here. All right, so we need a one and a half piece. I've already made this card and I've already tested these directions, but it just seemed awfully big. Okay, so that one and a half is the same size as this piece here. So just make sure you know, okay, that's one and a half. This we can use for scraps. So I just have my little pile of scraps. We're done with this for now. Okay. So wait till you see this card. It's really kind of neat. What did I do with my bone folder? Oh my word. There it is. Okay. Let's make sure this is nice and crisp and sat down. All right. We are going to come in. I have my little stand. Let's not lose that because it's dark and it blends in with my desk. We need two of that designer series paper, which I went ahead and I used the black with those copper foil globes on there. One's going to go here. One's going to go here. So we can go ahead and glue those. So 
So this would be considered a casual card. So we had our beginner. This would be our middle level. level. So this would be considered casual. I mean, you can call it whatever you want. Oh, I gotta change the blade on my on my cutter. My word. I keep saying that, and then I get cutting and doing stuff, and then I forget that I gotta change it until I see fuzzies. Hi, Patty. You are the winner of those cards from last week on. Uh, Jeez, I didn't even turn around and look at this. I'm too busy over here making these cards. You guys have all been commenting and I've been neglecting you. Oh. Okay, so let me go back. Um, 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 um. Hi, Melanie. Oh, good. I'm glad you got to see the pictures of the kids. Um, yes, Patty, you're finally here. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, Melanie, for sharing. And Patty, yes, you are the winner. If you want to, um, when I'm done with this and I this video gets posted, you can uh, fast forward to the part where I show, If unless you remember um, the, the three cards that we did last week. Let me just show you really quick here. We had that blue one. We had the purple. Oops, I have it upside down. The purple or that one. So you can choose. Or they're also... Ah, they're also on the blog. If you go over there, you can see more detailed pictures of them and the insides of them. So you can decide which one you want. Okay, where am I? All right. Let me take a drink here since I'm already stopped. All right. With this card, we are using the... Where did I put them? Oh, right here. These are the stitched dies. These are the most versatile dies I've ever seen in my life. Just saying. You can use these for so many things. And look how many you get. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And each one of these nests within the next. So you could do three of these and put them in each different colors. Like you could do one in white, one in black, and then one in gray. Or Each one of them fits inside of the other. Coolest dies. Those are called the stitch nested label dies i've used now that i just shut that i have used the biggest one right here so these kind of go back and forth like this because since they're so close you can't layer them within each other without having two different sides here so i've used the biggest one for this black one then for the white one i've come in with the next smallest for that okay and this right here, don't ask me what it's for because I am still, maybe, who's on here? Melanie, you're also a fellow de fellow demonstrator. What the heck is this piece for? Like, I'm so mind boggled, I, I have no clue. But it's there and I'm sure somebody has a great idea for it, but not me because I don't know what it's for. Okay, so that's those. We are using those like I said, for the uh, the black and the white piece here. But first, we need to come in with this beautiful world. Like I said, we we're using, look at these stamps. Some great sayings. Look at these two little globes that you get. Here's a stand that you can stamp and set your little globe on. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Look at these dies. There's like, that's what I have cut out right here. It's the big stand. And if you can see, I know it's hard with the black, but this has even got the marks in it. So it looks more like detailed, like it looks like a real stand. Okay, we're going to be needing the globe. Yes. And this piece right here die cuts these little things down there. So I'm going to turn around and show you because I didn't do this ahead of time because I wanted to show you how neat this is. Oh, I don't wanna slam that down. This little guy, I need to move it so I don't lose it. All right, so our inside of this card is uh, four by five and a quarter. Okay, 
I'm going to take this piece and I'm just going to lay it with those open little tick marks towards the edge of my white paper. And where did I put my... Jeez, it's hiding. My washi tape. I just washed my hands, so I don't think I have much oils on them, but we'll make it work. So right before I came on, my neighbor called me and she goes, oh my gosh, my goat is giving birth. Well, she got the mom from us a couple years ago. So she was all excited that, I mean, and she's, this mom goat has already given birth before, so... She knew that she would be okay, but it's it's kind of gratifying to watch your animals give birth, I think. It's just, it's kind of like that mama moment for them, or a grandmama moment. So they had a little doling and a little buckling, so a boy and a girl. So I thought, oh, that's so fun when you get one of each. Okay, so that's that side. So watch when I take this off, what this does. Besides make some mess with these little white things. I just take this and I just set it like this and I tap it in my garbage can. And see, and all those little pieces fall out of there. But here is a different story. I ordered the, uh, the little brush for the take a pick tool so I can show you guys how that works on there because it's kind of a tool that's needed. <clears throat> so I just take these little, and you would not <laughs> believe how many of these little things are all over my carpet. And I just vacuumed yesterday. Huh. Ridiculous. Okay, I'm going to flip that. Well, I don't need to flip it. I can do it over here. I'm going to take the little tick marks, put them on the outside like I just did over there. Put some washi tape to hold that down. Maybe cutting the labels in half. Oh, there you go. Who just said that? Oh, my mom just said that. To cut them in half. Absolutely. I didn't even think of that. See? Oh, my gosh. You guys are so smart. Look at you guys. You were both thinking alike, too. And I've been looking at that darn set just not having a clue. And bingo. You guys see it? What, for two minutes and you know what it's for? Mm. Smart, smart ladies, I tell you. Okay, I'm gonna set that up there. Okay, take this. I don't think too many stuck in there that time. All right, because it looks like they're all on here. I just kind of run my finger across there and of course you have that one stinking piece that just wants to have a hitchhike here and go for a ride. So that's <coughs> so that's what that's gonna look like. Okay. Oh man, and they are static electricity, so they stick to everything. They're all over my pants now. Oh well. All right, so here is our card base. I've put those two one and a, one and a half pieces there. This is gonna go on the inside here so let's get that glued down and no I did not put a sentiment in there yet because I didn't quite know what needed to be in there so that's that so we've got my son's first appointment to go have his braces put on and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, this kid is going to be in pain, and he, but no, he is so excited, and he just thinks it's going to be the coolest thing next to birthday cake, but I don't know, I've never had braces, I've just heard the horror stories of them, and the pain, and especially since his are not just, he's got straight teeth, and that's what the doctor said, his teeth are really straight, I'm, good thing the kid took after, I mean, his dad has straight teeth too, but he kind of took after me in that where we've got really straight, nice teeth and gotten blessed that way. Um, 
but uh, the doctor was saying that, where was I going with that? Squirrel. Oh, that uh, he needs the braces to, to put those two little springs on the side because we need to take his top jaw, because the way his teeth sit right now, so if this was his bottom teeth, his top teeth sit back behind his top, his, let me turn it that way, like that. So we need to now pull his bottom or his top jaw up and take his front teeth over his bottom teeth like your teeth are supposed to sit. And so he said, you know, it's, it's going to be a long and it, it could be potentially painful, but you know, Corbin just said, he goes, I don't care. I'm down because I'm tired of people making fun of me for my lisp. He goes, I've de dealt with this for too long and I get it. You know, no teenage, you know, schoolboy wants to be picked on. And now that he's back in public school because he's been homeschooled for so many years, it's not like anybody was home to pick on him for it. All right, so as you can see, this is gonna go to the bottom of this. These two pieces, we are going to, let's see what I'm gonna do here. Let's take this piece first. We're going to add this on here. So we're gonna glue this down. And this is a very tiny piece that you might want to purchase some of those, ugh. Um, what are they called? Adhesive sheets, I think it is. It just came to me. We were pondering over it before. I know, right? And I still have never seen an answer to that question. So look, now you come up with an answer for me. I asked you a while ago and you couldn't tell me. Hmm. Did I inspire you <laughs> to come up with an answer for that piece? Okay, so that's gonna get stuck right there. We're going to grab that brass foil that they were talking about that comes with the whole suite, if you purchase the whole suite. I'm also going to grab, doesn't matter, you have two different hemispheres here of your world, of your globe. So you can either do, you know, one or the other. I'm going to grab, no, I'm going to do North America and South America. I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to run that through the baby boss here. I just set it on there and run that through. Let me get these out of the way. Oops. And voila. Not what you want to see is my fat arm jiggling, right? Huh. I worked for an orthodontist for 16 years. It is fascinating to watch the changes in the wires. Oh, well, that's... He was saying that, you know, we could do the rubber bands. But he said, because of how aggressive we have to be with this, because I've failed as a mom, <laughs> I'm not afraid to say it, um, I should have had braces on him quite a few years ago. We should have had it done, like, when he was eight, nine years old to go after this pro because he's got such a bad underbite that it should have been done when he was a lot younger. So when he grew, it would have, you know, changed with his mouth. And now that he's almost 16 years old, like the doctor said, we kind of only have two years to really go after this because he's almost done growing, you know, at 18 years old, he's going to be done. And we, we want to try to prevent him having the surgery because the surgery is very invasive compared to doing these springs and that kind of stuff. It, and that's exactly what he said. He goes, you know, cause I said, I go, well, you know, with the cost and the time and everything that we're putting into this, is it worth it? And he goes, well, let's just put it this way. We can't make it worse. You know, we can at least stop. And he goes, no matter what, it's going to fix, fix somewhat. He said, our biggest problem is getting that, since the teeth sit back here, the biggest thing is trying to get the teeth up and then to come back over. He said, we may have to move, remove one of his bottom teeth for this to come together. And then his, his top jaw will slide over it more. And when Corbin was thinking, oh my goodness, you know, take one of my teeth. Ah, he just freaked out. He was like, no, he goes, we're, we're, this is going to work. We're going to make this. <laughs> he just said, he goes, I'll do whatever I need to do. We're going to make this work. He goes, I don't want any of my teeth removed. 
So, I mean, the doctor sounded pretty optimistic about it. He just said, you know, it obviously would have done been better. And he said, he goes, you know, you are spending, you know, a, a chunk of money to get this done. But it's better to do it than to not. So, I agreed with him. So, we were like, okay, we're going to go ahead and just do this because we have to get it done. All right, so I'm going to add that. And I just put glue in some side of some of these bigger, bigger areas because it's not like this thing's gonna go just like flying off of this card. This glue is pretty good. And then just a couple little dots here and there on those side. And I'm not gonna put this in there straight because our world turns on an axis. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of plopping it in there. So I'm just gonna hold that up. That's why I didn't glue that whole thing down. Okay, maybe I don't need to be so crazy about that but then I'm just gonna go like that and stick it in there and then since this piece is kind of flimsy I'm just gonna take it lift it up and just put a little bit of glue on the corners just enough to hold it down and then follow that up and then plop those two pieces down just like that all right isn't that cool all right, the twine is for, first, let me do the stamping. Okay, I'm gonna come in with, this is the stamp set that my mom used that I said I'm gonna use for Father's Day because there's some great Father's Day sayings in there and some really cool Father's Day um, kind of images. But I want to use this It's Your Day stamp. So where did my, there it is. Oh, I don't want stays on. I mean, I could, but it's your day. I'm going to use Memento. Make sure that's good and juicy. Juicy Lucy. All right, and I'm going to put this kind of up over here in this upper. Right hand side there. Okay, there we go. I like the font on that too. It looks kind of ruggedy. Um, what was I doing? Oh, my twine. So I need a piece of tape. And I'm just going to take this and my snips. And I'm just going to hold this on the back, maybe, if I don't let the whole thing go rolling off my table. Okay, set that there, grab this, wrap it around, wrap it around, and wrap it around. Okay, just like that, and then kind of hold that there, and then since I have it back here, I can just come here. Hold both pieces and then grab my tape and then tape it down. Okay, it's just like that. All right, and then I can come in and I can manipulate these and move them where I want them. <clears throat> okay, just like that. And then put this back in here so I don't lose it. Okay, we're done with that. <clears throat> okay, this is now going to get popped up with some dimensionals. Or it's not, but the white piece is going to go on top of it. And I probably really just messed that up because I was supposed to put those on the white piece, but I didn't. Okay, good thing those are moving. Okay, and those ones are all good. All right, whew, again, saved. Now this is gonna go, I gotta see what I'm doing here and make sure I get this straight because doing this on a black desk is not always the easiest thing. Okay, perfect. All right, just like that. Oops, wait a minute, this is a little bit crooked up here. There we go, that's better. All right, 
Okay, now we're gonna come back in with some of those little black. These are called the matte black dots. And take our pick, tool. What is, oh, it's that thing that's loose. And put one here. And I'm using the little ones here. Put one there. And then a big one. Ah, up here. Okay, just like that. Again, not something flashy, shiny, making it look, you know, kind of femmy. It still looks very masculine, I think. And then what we need to do is grab this and when you want to hold this bottom piece now I don't know how my mom did this part of it because I wasn't there when she did it but I will show you her card I'm going to adhere the top part first okay so I just kind of hold my finger where I know that I just want the glue on this area Okay, so I make sure I have that right there and I line it up with these pieces here. Make sure that's adhered. Okay, then I'm going to line this up with the bottom of my card. Open this up. Again, know that only this bottom portion here is going to get glue. And like I said, line that up. Okay, and then drop this down and then that's going to get adhered to that hold it for just a few seconds all right so now when you open this card that is how that opens now let me say something this piece here is obviously bigger than this I didn't cut another one because I'm not gonna do it but you could take another white piece cut it out and you could stick it on the inside here now, in my mom's card, that had to be done because in the inside, there wasn't a whole heck of a lot of room to write. So if you were to put another piece in here, you have this area to write and this area. But mine, I have a big enough piece that I think it is um, plenty of room to write what you need to write on there and, you know, put a happy birthday saying in there, which I will grab that one from this one I'm going to grab that happy birthday because that looks manly um, I don't want that one. okay I'll just come in with this one and I'm gonna grab the I'm gonna oh, I guess I'll do that we'll grab memento I was gonna use stays on just to show you the different but it's not gonna be as crisp so wouldn't match the front all right there's that and then we're just gonna I'm gonna stand up so I make sure I get this straight ah wonderful Woo. The stars are aligned tonight okay <clears throat> so that gives you plenty of room let me show you Hard really quick. Uh, what did I do with it? Do, do, do. Huh. Well, I did have it sitting here. Oh, is that it? Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's right. I forgot she put hers in an envelope. All right. So, like I said, this set right here, this a good man, which has all these really cool father, son, father, daughter. She did this card using the same paper, the world or good oh. World of Good. Yes. World of Good DSP Designer Series paper. She made a matching envelope. Is that not cool? And she used I think hers are a hair smaller. Yeah, she used the smaller um nesting dies. <clears throat> but this is what I'm talking about. How she put this here it's the same size as the outside so they all line up so you're not seeing <clears throat> any of that white and then she put another one in here which what an amazing idea so you can write because you don't have a lot of room to write here but you have all this to write and carry it down so 
that's really awesome. I, I love this card. That's why I had to design one. Because I was going to use her design, but then I thought, hmm, I like that for Father's Day. We're going to save that one for Father's Day. I mean, she can have it back. I can take a picture of it. But anyways, there is my design that I made with that. Kind of cute. Okay. So again, I'll do the envelope and stuff later so we can get moving here. All right, on to the next card. All right, the next one is kind of a bit stepped up. So we are using, I need a scrap. So our card base, all right, let's move this. Our card base is early espresso. This is five and a half by eight and a half. We're gonna score it at four and a quarter. So there's our card base and the bone folder is hiding. Oh, no, oh, there it is. Oh my goodness. You got your braces off on your 40th birthday. Oh my goodness. Is that what you were saying? Is that you got your braces off on your 40th birthday? Wow. Well, see, and that's what's weird is, um, it's not about my card. Don't even go there because your card was beautiful. So get over yourself. Anyways, <laughs> um, uh, how does it work for like adult braces if they say that, you know, once a kid is 18 and they're already grown, you know, if you're obviously getting yours off on your 40th birthday, how is that? because no no matter what your age is you can um you can align your i mean your teeth can still move is that how that works i don't know confused because i see adults with braces all the time all right so i think i just pulled this piece out because we need a scrap all right let me put this with this card all right Okay, so our card base, we already went over. All right, let me get my notes over here. All right, we're going to come in with our designer series paper. This is the good, or world of good. And this is four by five and a half. This is going to go right on the front. Where did I put my, okay, there's my card. This is going to go right here on the front. Okay, we can go ahead and hear that now. Oh yeah, you know what I thought was really funny? And I don't know if this was purposeful or not. Maybe it was. I mean, way to go if it was. Let me just show you. Where did I put it? Do -do -do -do. Oh, the card that you made, Mom. Right here, it says Prescott, Arizona, Tucson, Phoenix on this map. I thought, wow, did, did you purposely cut this out to make sure we're on the map? I mean, I doubt it, but look at that. It's, it's us. We're here. Hello. We're, we're like saying, we're like bling, bling and people. All right. Now, remember how I said this goes along with, ouch, my ring just got stuck. This, uh, old world paper, 3D embossing folder. Look at this thing is like, I mean, you could probably beat somebody with this if they broke into your home. We're going to grab our cinnamon cider, which this is two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And our early espresso is three by four. So the bigger one's going to go there. And, oh, and I'm going to throw these cards everywhere. 
and this is going to go in inside of there. But I'm going to run this through the embossing folder, or run it through the Big Boss really quick. So what I need, since this is a 3D folder, I need my, uh, what do they call this? I need my number four plate, that and my number one to run through my, so here you just use two plates to run this through. watch this look how neat that looks and it does it looks like old paper and it's all crinkled up like that it's been through you know quite a whirlwind all right that's gonna get glued on there now with embossing folders I have no idea which way is right which way is wrong it's whatever you like this is your card you do you I for the purpose of this am going to do it like this because this side seems to have a little bit more flatter of a surface to glue it down on there. It's the only reason why I'm doing it that way. Now, it, are the crinkles supposed to be inverted or are the crinkles supposed to be outverted? Who knows? Not me. Line that up. Okay, and what I decided to do, now this is 100% optional, is I, oh, that noise, golly. I'm going to take a scrap, which I have sitting right here. Move that stuff over. I'm going to take this, I'm going to use my blending brush after I get the fuzz off of it. I'm just gonna kind of like dab it inside of my early espresso pad. I'm gonna rub it off over there just a skosh so because I don't want those swirls on there. And then I'm just gonna kind of take this and just rub this over. See the difference between here and here? It's really making those, um, uh, what did I call it, outverted, inverted, whatever, those pieces really kind of stand out and look like they've been through kind of the ringer or whatever you want to say. So I'm just doing that. Like I said, that is absolutely not a make it or break it, you know, thing. It's just something that I liked the look of to give it kind of that antique old rustic, uh, distressed that's the word distressed look okay again I need to grab my world die I'm going to use Asia and Europe this time and run this through here again I'm gonna mix it up a little bit goodness maybe if I can get this thing in there right all right and yes my mom told me some sad news she went to go pick up her baby boss at the post office today but it being a Monday and people not getting you know their mail and stuff yesterday the post office was like 12 deep just on the outside people standing outside in line so she said oh well I guess I'll go tomorrow because I'm not standing out there in line waiting for it so, she will get her baby boss tomorrow. There it is. There it is. That's what she said. I can't wait to have that so it just sits on my desk and it's right there. I said, yep, it does make quite a difference. Right. Oh, I didn't get all those pieces off. Sorry. Taking forever here, getting those pieces off. 
All right. So we need that. I cut, die cut the little, the little stand right here. So I just took that and I ran it through early espresso. So the world will just sit kind of just like that on that. I took also, so you get the two world or two hemispheres of, you know, the globe. And then you get this perfect circle that can cut those out if you just want to do a background because obviously the earth has blue and greens and stuff. So you can do this in any color you want. I chose to do it in white just to kind of make that pop. I love that. All right, so I'm just gonna adhere that to the white circle. Okay, just like that. Again, I'm gonna kind of tip, I mean, on here it doesn't matter because it's not lined up yet. Okay. There we go. Okay, that's that. Then I took another one of those circles and I did it in um, cider cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon cider. Gosh, I always get those two backwards for some reason. I'm always like cider cinnamon, cinnamon cider. Why can't I ever just remember that word? Okay, this I'm going to emboss. Okay, so we're going to do this snippety snap just to show you. I need this piece and I need a, another just little scrap piece because I'm going to do both of these pieces at the same time just because I don't want to have to keep taking out the, the embossing powder. Um, I'm going to use the stamp set that says you make the world a better place. Let's get this stamp off of here. Okay, we're going to use our Versamark and move some of this stuff out of the way. Make sure that's good and juicy. And then we're going to put that right, I'm going to stand up so I can see. Okay, there we go. Now let me grab this one off of here and I'm going to grab the little compass piece. And make sure it's good and juicy and stamp it as well. And put the lid on that so we don't get embossing folder. Then I'm coming in with the gold Stampin' Emboss Powder. like that I got the new um, well new to me but it's the Stampin' Up uh, embossing heat tool I've always had one that I've had for a hundred years <laughs> so I was like okay I gotta get the new one the other one would get way too hot and I think now looking back you know when I was having problems with the heat and stick um, powder when I was trying to do that gold foiling? Remember how I was having such a horrible time and it was like overheating and then I couldn't get anything to stick to it? I honestly think now, like looking back, it's because my heat tool kept getting too hot and it was melting that stuff way too much. All right, so, okay, it's going to get just a little loud. Now watch what this does. Okay, hold on a minute. I gotta take something in because it's burning me. See how gorgeous that is? Oh my goodness, I love it. I was just, we went to the container store the other day to get containers for our embossing powder. 
and my mom found some really neat ones and now I've got to find some because now thinking back I should have bought some when we were there but I didn't but oh well it's it's all good it's not like it's far away but um Oh, I was telling her, I said, oh, so last night I was playing with the Stampin' Up! embossing powder. And I said, I go, you know, I've had so many different kinds of embossing powders that I didn't realize the difference of what a good embossing powder is like versus kind of one that's not so good. This stuff always melts beautifully and perfectly. Okay, this is not a Stampin' Up! circle punch, but... I don't have the one that's small enough for this, so I'm just using this, okay? So, I cheated. You didn't see nothing. <laughs> but you did. It's okay. All right. So, this is going to get adhered straight down. Oh, wait a minute. Not yet. Then, I cut this uh, little label out of the my go-to, my one that you'll probably see in almost darn near every video I do, the Tasteful Labels. I use this one right here just because I, it's just my thing. It's probably my favoriteest, if that's a word, favorite label set when it comes to sentiments and stuff. Okay, so I want to make sure I kind of go a little high on that. Okay, I'm going to put this down on here. But see this gold in here? Now when you add this to the front of that, look how much it all kind of just goes together. It just looked like it was it was a meant to be kind of thing, which I'm sure that was Stampin' Up's whole idea because let's be honest. They know what they're doing. All right, I'm going to attach this piece first just to make sure I get my placement of my stand and my globe correct. Or I'm gonna throw it on the floor and lose it. Oh, did it coincide with the box? What in the heck? Seriously, where did it go? Oh my goodness. Really? It like just went MIA. What in the heck? Oh, there it is. It went in with all of my catalogs. But it didn't look like it went, because the catalogs are like over here underneath my desk. And it looked like it fell directly below me. But it didn't. It flew. Okay, so. Do this, do this that okay and I'm gonna stick that where it's pretty even with that okay just like that then this is gonna get stuck and this is not used for this card but I just wanted to get it done since it's for the next card and hopefully we can make the next card kind of quick. So I'm not taking up your whole evening. But hey, what what else do you have to do then to spend time with me? <laughs> Alright, I can feel that this side, since it's sitting on that world paper and it's popping that up, I need a dimensional over here. Alright, there we go. That's much better. That makes me happy. Okay, again, I need one of those small little pieces to add right there. And then I need some dimensionals to go on the back of the world. Now I'm gonna get out another. Good thing I just ordered a new pack of dimensionals. So you get three sheets of these per package, just to show you. So what, does it say how many are in there? Oh, there's 300. There's 300 dimensionals in there. 
All right. Let's see. Okay, so since I was not able to put a dimensional on this piece, I'm going to make sure when I slide my globe, I'm going to kind of just push this end and kind of just lay that where I know it's going to sit just like that. All right, there we go. Beautiful. And then I'm going to grab some of those. Oh, come on, light. Right in the way. God, I just had them out. Why can I not find them? Because I probably still have them out and they're probably sitting on my desk and I just, yeah. Okay, there they are. Um, Take a pick. Did I lose the lid to this thing too? Oh, who knows? All right, I'm gonna grab this and put it here. And Oh my goodness, these do not want to come up. Let me grab this one. Or let me just grab my fingernail because that did not want to get up. All right, there you go. That is that card. I'm assuming I'm probably just going to put either a piece of cinnamon cider on the inside of there. I didn't do the inside just because I knew I was going to start running out of time with you guys as we got deeper and deeper into these cards so you can either put that in there stamp your sentiment in black or um a d -d 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 early espresso you could put a white piece in here since you have this white here and i think that's probably what i'm going to do so i will put the pictures of that once i get that done as well because let's get this last card done and move on Let's move some of this out of the way. Um, since now I have a stack of cards sitting over here, let me clean this off. Clean this off. Then. Clean and. Clean. All right, there we go. So now we're all ready to go besides me putting these because we're not going to use these again. And it's your day goes in the Father's Day one. Okay, there we go. All right. And I need a drink. Hi, Miss Jerry. You know what's funny? I was pulling down, I was, I had just turned off Taylor, I was coming down Ajo, and I was in the turn lane where Sandario is, and you guys, you and Jason passed me. Me and Corbin were waving, you guys didn't even see us, oh my goodness. <laughs> but no, in all fairness, the sun was kind of in your guys' face. I was taking Corbin to the uh, orthodontist, so we were heading up Sandario. But yeah, we saw you guys and we waved. So don't think I was being a snob, but I didn't wave to you guys because we did. All right. So there's the other one that I made. Do, do, do. Let's move on. Okay. Because this card is kind of the step, step, step up version, which is, look at this. But wait, I, I you really got to see this one be made because you're going to make the heck out of these and it can go with any paper, any kind of image, anything on there. And wait a minute, watch this. Look at that, boom, I love it. <laughs> okay, the small things in life that excite me. But look how neat, let me see if I can hold that up. It just hooks on, that's why I went ahead and did that piece since I was already embossing. I just, it just hooks on there and it's all from the same card base. So let's get into this so we don't take up, but I'm doing a different color this time. So. With this, you are going to need your paper trimmer and turn it the right way so you can see what you're doing. This is our five and a half 
by eight and a half, and we're going to score it at four and a quarter, as we normally do. Wait a minute, is this five and a half? Okay, it is. It just seemed awfully long. I mean, awfully wide. So four and a quarter. Oh, then I was going shopping. So in my blouse. <laughs> That's okay. I was just telling that that we did see you just in case like you you realized it was us when you passed us that we weren't being jerks that we were waving to you. Okay, so there is our card base. So typically you're going to to uh yeah. Score that in half. Now, this score mark is very important. I don't know what the heck is on there. But this score mark is very important because, and then you're going to want to know that your card is sitting this way, as you can see from that. Now, you're going to cut some important lines here, but you're only going to cut to this score line. So how we're going to do this is you're going to place this on the short side like this, but on the side that we know is our front of our card. And now you're going to score, or you're going to cut in to a one and one okay so there's our one so we're going to do one and one quarter so i'm going to do it on this side maybe okay so i need to grab my cutting blade and with our cutting blade there are little notches on the side so we know that if we take these little side lines to that score mark that's where our line's going to, that's where our cutting is going to stop. So when these lines on the side match up with the score, we're going to stop and we're going to pick it up and we're done. Okay? So I have this lined up on my one and a quarter mark. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull it all the way up until I see that touch. See how this line lined up? With our score that's what we wanted okay now we're gonna do the same thing on this side and one and a quarter and that one and a quarter line goes all the way down so you know that you're completely lined up all the way down this line okay take it all the way to that line on your score so you now know your fingers or your arms or your whatever you want to call these little goofy things are there. Okay, and now take those two little fingers and fold them down and now all you want is this piece sticking out. So now you're going to take that center three inch section, which is what that is. Oh my goodness, there is a helicopter. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but there is a helicopter like right above us and it is so stinking low. It's actually coming towards your way, Jerry. So I don't know what the heck is going on out there, but this is the world of Arizona. So two and one eighth. So we're just going to go to that first little, well, not the first one, but the second line there. Two and one eighth. Okay. Okay. We're going to make sure our cutting blade is boop out of the way because we don't want to cut any of this off. We just want to score it, okay? No cutting, just scoring. Because now that is going to be our piece that stands our, our uh, focal point. See, that's kind of where that brown piece is right there. Can you see that? That's what our piece is going to now adhere to. Okay, all good. That is done with the cutting for this part. Um, let me grab my pieces. All right, you're going to want to grab your uh, basic white, <laughs> your basic white piece, and this is five and a quarter by four. You're gonna put that in there. You're gonna line it up on your, you know, your margins and glue that down. Yes, this is the time where I'm going to be stamping once I already have it in there. Oh, they're looking for somebody because that thing is like, the light, no joke, is staring in my window of this helicopter. 
It must have, it's looking, they're looking for somebody. Hmm, that was crazy. Wow, they're even lower now. It just shook my house. That was ridiculous. And now my goats are outside screaming. Because I'm sure they probably felt the wind from that. That was so weird. I just looked straight out the window because the window is right behind me here. And this light is just coming straight towards me. They're like looking on the ground. So, yeah. Oh, well. All right. Before we put these two pieces down, I need to take my sentiment that's going to say, thank you for being a part of mine, which is right here. Thank you for being a part of mine. I'm going to grab that. And we're going to do that in... Oh my goodness, they just dropped something in the kitchen. Um, we're going to do that in early, or uh, yeah, early espresso. But before I do that, let's go ahead and glue these down because we really don't need these up. So just run glue down your side arms, fingers, legs, toes, whatever you want to consider these. Now, see, Jerry, yeah, I was going to say, your husband probably knows exactly what's going on. Oh, see, now it's coming straight back at us again. That's so weird. He's like going, he's going out west. He must be flipping around, heading back towards town, and then coming back out again. So it's got to be Border Patrol, absolutely, because I don't think Life Light would keep, they don't keep a big spotlight on like that, I don't think. Your husband probably knows, though, Jerry, because he knows everything in three points, I swear. Whenever I, whenever there's something going on, I always wait for Jason to post because he's like our local newsman out here. <laughs> oh, and Andre says he's so sorry that he missed the meeting on Saturday. He had it planned to go and do it. And then I, I don't know what happened, but he was like, oh, my, like later Saturday afternoon, he was like, oh my God, I forgot the meeting. He goes, I even had my mindset that I was going to go. Oh, they're looking for runners? Okay. Yep, I figured something was going on the way that they keep circling around with that big, huge... Oh, see, now they're way out over by... Probably by Sandario, and they're circling back around because now I can see them. So, yep, they're after somebody. All right, so now I'm going to take this in... I did it in the early espresso, and I'm going to stamp that right there. Thank you for being a part of mine. I just centered that right in the bottom here. Oh, it's this coming weekend? Oh, he's going to be happy to know that he didn't miss it. Okay, I thought it was this last weekend that we just had, but I can't keep track of nothing, I'm telling you. You're lucky I'm here every Monday because with all these doctor's appointments going on and people needing to go get vaccinated and go, 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 all that good stuff. And then dentist appointments. That seems to be like the thing of the month right now is everybody in my family has dentist appointments. And you know, getting fillings or getting, you know, caps put on it, it, who knows getting braces put on, you know? All right. So we have this. Set. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two pieces of this early espresso. Now these are cut in. <clears throat> these are one in one. Wait a minute. Yes. One in one eighth by four and one eighth at, by times two. Okay, that's gonna go down right here. So you're gonna have a little tiny eighth of an inch around each side. like that now two designer series pe oh these little fuzzies okay i gotta change that like tonight so i don't forget okay so these are cut at one by four times two that's gonna go there so this paper is really kind of cool you've got um the early espresso in there you've got the basic black you've got um old olive you've got the Misty Moonlight, which is this blue that we used here. 
So, and then it has some of that bumblebee as well, which is that really bright, gorgeous yellow. That's also on the back of one of those um, pieces of paper, kind of like this. So, like I said, very kind of masculine colors. right so oh my gosh let me tell you guys we have nine baby goats it was crazy I walked out the other day it starts at 11 okay all right well I'll let him know and then he can be there because he really wanted to be there he wanted to because he's off of work right now for this month because of a medical leave so he definitely wanted to be involved in what's going on Okay, now you need another piece of the, the early espresso. This is going to stick to this piece right here. This measures, boop, 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 boop. this measures four and one eighth by two and seven eighths. Then a piece of that designer series paper. We're gonna, this is two and three quarters by four so it's an eighth of an inch again smaller than our cardstock piece that's gonna get adhered on there got too much glue on the side there All right, there's that. Now we're going to go ahead and cut another one of these worlds again. And we're gonna go ahead and do North America and South America. Oops, yeah, that's right. Let me run that through here really quick. Get off of there. All right, this is also in that brass foil. already done oh gosh it's sticking out no wonder why it's not working okay let's try this again and I'm trying not to stick my hand in the stamp that's sitting right above my hand here because it's got brown ink on it and again I will stick my hand in it and make a mess okay let's get that off of there I'm gonna hold this over the garbage this time and do this and get all these little pieces out because you've already seen me do it a couple times now. All right, there's that. Throw that away. We're going to grab a piece of that Misty Moonlight. So a scrap of that and we're going to do that circle, what I was telling you that the world goes on. Run that through. Okay, run. Can you guys see what I'm doing here? Run that through. Okay, there's our piece that's going to go behind our globe lose that circle because I've been known to almost toss little things like that then we're gonna use a piece of scrap early espresso and cut out that stand but I had a bigger piece sitting here that I grabbed already for it where did I put it cut a little small piece of early espresso so I can get that cut really quick. All right, there we go. All 
All right, now I'm gonna lay this on there. We're gonna cut that out and then we're rolling. So that's kind of all we need right now. This little piece there we go look at this doesn't that look like a half little moon you could cut those things out for Halloween in black and make that a moon or make it white and then take some you know your uh, blending brush and do some yellow and some of the blues and stuff to make it look like it is a midnight moon okay we're done with that stuff all right Let's get this card going. All right, this is going to get glued on to here. I appreciate you guys sticking with me all this time tonight. It was a very long one because I knew I wanted to get so many of these made. Because, like I said, we never have enough man cards made. We always have, like, a butt ton of female cards. But we, our men in our lives have birthdays. They, you know, they have things also come up. Graduations or congratulations on something that they've done. So, yeah, they deserve cards, too. All right, this is going to go right there. But first, we're going to take this. Where did I put? Oh, okay. This is gonna get glued down, but so I'm not gonna do the world first. I'm gonna do the stand first, again. So just some glue on that bottom base there and then up the stem. They must have caught whoever was running because I don't hear the helicopter anymore. They must have dropped on somebody. They ruined somebody's night, oh well. Not my pig, not my farm. All right, this goes, is now gonna go in here, but again, I'm gonna turn it. That's gonna go there. And I so appreciate you hitting those likes and those hearts and all those things for me and getting the analytics up on my videos. I really appreciate that. Okay, like I said, just put a little bit of glue on those two ends and get those down. Hey, boy. Uh, boy, boy where, what are you doing? I need a the kittens? Oh, yeah, our cat had kittens again. <laughs> okay. Now I just need that, that piece. That's why I had that there. That's going to go there. We're just going to take our... Um, clean this off one more time. And then we're gonna be good because I only need to stamp one more thing and then this card is going to be complete all right let's stick all those pieces over there get this out of the way all right what did I want I wanted this all right so I'm going to grab that early espresso again since that's kind of our accent color Life, life's a beautiful journey. And then you have that says, thank you for being a part of mine. So part of your life. Okay, let's get this shut. Now I'm just gonna come in here, wait for, the, okay, I'm gonna wait for that to dry just a second. Let's get this glued on here while I'm waiting for that. So this, you're gonna have that eighth of an inch bottom piece or, uh, or, focal piece going on that so let's grab this we're just going to put glue not all the way to the edges because we know that there's going to be a little bit of that showing and then now let's take this and get this glued on here
Okay. And this fits right inside of a regular envelope because it just goes in there just like that. Okay. And then, again, while I said, like I said, that's drying, we're going to grab a, a little dimensional, put it right in the back of that. This is just going to get set right here and that is what holds our card up now let's get this cut out really quick ah. what are you doing oh it's right here in the drawer do not take off with it and make sure it comes back to my drawer all right. Okay, so I'm just taking this and I'm just kind of going around the edges of this. I, this and this technique is called fussy cutting because we don't have a die that cuts this out. So I'm just taking my snips and I don't really move my scissors around my paper I move my paper around my snips so I just keep the flow going with my scissors or snips and then turn my paper as I need to to cut this out Okay, just like that. See how that worked? So now I have it done the way I want it. Then I'm going to put that right there. After I get, man, those little goobies get on there so fast and dry. Okay. Make sure it's right side up because that would be no fun. And then that's just going to go right there. So life's a beautiful journey. Thank you for being a part of mine. So there we go. That We have that one done in the, the uh, Misty Moonlight. All right. So let me show you these three cards. Again, I didn't do envelopes because I wanted to show you guys the cards and not worry about envelopes tonight. Um, there's that one. There's that one. We did this one. So if you're the winner next week, remember these cards because these are going to be ones that you choose from so we have all three of those so this one opens like this with happy birthday this one opens like this where it's your day enjoy it wishing you the happiest birthday this one is you make the world a better place and I have to put an inside in that because I didn't do it and then you have that one that folds like a what do they call that fold like an easel fold I guess you would say that was all right so if you need to place an order, I would love your business. It helps me bring you these weekly giveaways and it continue and it helps me to continue to bring you guys these free videos. Also, I will get that new host code which like I said I have covered here. I will have it put up on my blog. It's the very first thing you will see in that right hand column. It will tell you my monthly host code. I will get that corrected. I will also post it in the Facebook page just in a regular post. I'll post the uh, host code. Um, only use that host code if your purchase is under $150. If you are going over $150, Stampin' Up! is going to give you some rewards of your own. I don't want those. Those are yours. You reap the benefits, not me. All right, guys, thank you so much for spending your evening with me. 
Have a great week, you guys. If you have any questions, I need an anniversary one for Jason. Oh, okay. I will, wait a minute. Is your guys' anniversary before Saturday or can Andre bring it to you on Saturday? Let me know, let me know.